The U.S. House is considering reinstituting the Depression-era Glass-Steagall Act, which barred bank holding companies from owning other financial companies. Majority Leader Steny Hoyer says a renewal of the law is, quote, under discussion. For more on Hoyer's comments, we head to Washington and bring in New York Representative Maurice Hinchy, who first proposed bringing back Glass-Steagall. Uh, Congressman, welcome to the show. Thank you so much for joining us. Let me ask you, first of all, about uh, Glass-Steagall. You know, a lot of people have said this isn't necessary because a lot of the firms that cause these big problems, like Lehman Brothers, weren't bank holding companies. Why do you think it is? Well, I think it is because uh, of the way in which the banking industry was manipulated once again, similar to the way it was manipulated prior to 1929 when we had that uh, big collapse. And we experienced just recently a similar set of circumstances. The commercial and investment banks no longer separated. They were able to come together. There was a whole uh, activity of investments, and a lot of the investments, frankly, were, were not, uh, not accurate. In some cases, they were even fraudulent, particularly with regard to mortgages and the expansion of that mortgage industry and the way in which it was manipulated. So it, it's a good idea, I think, to think about this once again. And uh, the implementation of the separation of commercial and investment banks probably makes a lot of sense. Congressman Hinchy, let me ask you, though, what assurance, what indications are you getting from the House leadership specifically um, that they will indeed bring your proposal to the floor? <laughs> well, not very much, frankly, because uh, in the most recent uh, investment bank legislation that we passed uh, last week, which was pretty good, it does some very good things, uh, I tried to add, initiate the amendment of a similar Glass-Steagall bill in the context of that bill, but it was rejected. Uh, they wouldn't want to have it in the context of that bill. So the interesting thing about this is more and more people are talking about this issue, and that is includes a number, a number of people who in some ways were involved in the economic circumstances that we're experiencing in the context of this very deep recession. And I think a lot of people are understanding right. that the separation of banks but, really made some good sense. I've got to say, though, you know, House Majority Leader Steady Hoyer, you know, saying that the House is discussing renewal of Glass-Steagall, it caught all of our attention. We know it's been floated out there. I mean, safe to say, though, it's taken a step closer that it could be a possibility? Well, I think it is safe to say that it has taken a step closer, and it becomes a possibility, yes. And, uh, is it that, a likelihood, of course... though, uh, Congress, Congressman, you're fighting the biggest lobby in Washington? <laughs> yeah, I think you're right. Uh, probably the biggest and one of the most effective, maybe the most effective in, uh, in Washington. And all of the lobbyists here, of course, are focused on their own objectives and their own needs and not focused on the needs of the people of this country. And so that's something that this Congress has got to do. Our obligation is to do the things that are in the needs of the people of America. And uh, the uh, reinstatement of this whole economic situation is critically important. And what we really need to be doing is to try to ensure that the kind of recession that we experienced is not going to happen three, but, five, six years from now. Congressman Hinchy, let me ask you, though, if it's not likely, why did House Majority Leader Steny Hoyer come out and say something? Well, I think the likelihood is increasing. And I think that uh, the statement that uh, Steny Hoyer made indicates how that likelihood has increased from last week to this week. And it may, it may continue to increase, and so we may see something significant here moving in that appropriate direction. Doesn't it drastically reduce the competitiveness of uh, U.S. financial services? Uh, no. The competitiveness of U.S. financial services remains pretty secure and pretty solid and, uh, and very competitive. But it just separates the two kinds of these two kinds of basic banks, investment and commercial, commercial banks. It makes sure that uh, the, right. the mortgages of commercial banks are not entwined into investment C circumstances C so that they are manipulated and C even fraudulently manipulated so C that those investments can collapse at some point C in the future C Congressman and Hinchy, cause the recession. I want to break in, though. i got 30 seconds here. Bayer and Lehman, though, they were investment banks, um, and they failed. So the critics would say that Glass-Steagall won't do anything. Just 20 seconds here, if you could. Uh, well, I think that's a mistake. I think that uh, the, the uh, reinstatement of the Glass-Steagall would do some things very important and very significant, very okay. positive and very secure. All right. We're going to leave it there. Thanks for your time. New York Representative Maurice Hinchy.